which is media teleconference, as we review week two and talk about upcoming games this, this week and week three. First, we'll begin with our usual announcements uh, from around the Big South, our players of the week from this past weekend. The Choice Hotel's Offensive Player of the Week was Coastal Carolina running back D'Angelo Henderson. The Defensive Player of the Week was the Defensive Line Unit from Liberty University for their efforts against Norfolk State. The Big South Special Teams Player of the Week, Coastal Carolina kick returner Devin Brown. And the Bronze Brand Freshman of the Week, Garden Web quarterback Tyrell Maxwell. So congratulations to those honorees for their performances. Other notes to pass along before we move into our coaches. Charleston Southern and Coastal Carolina moved to 2-0 uh, over the weekend. Uh, Shanti Clears holds steady at number five in both national polls. Coastal Carolina, Garden Web, and Liberty finally open up their home season this coming Saturday, and we'll talk about that uh, with our coaches this morning. Presbyterian Colleges, LaQuay Mays set the Big South record for longest rush from scrimmage. 92 yards, a 92-yard touchdown run Saturday against Bluefield. Liberty recorded its first win over an in-state non-conference Division I opponent for the first time since 2003. Monmouth is looking to start 2-0 this weekend for the first time since 2006. The Hawks were idle this past Saturday. Coastal Carolina quarterback Alex Ross moved up uh, the Big South's career list for both quarterback rushing yards and total number of Total offensive games in the seventh. Garner Webb is not allowed to rushing TD in 18 straight quarters. Liberty's Chima Yuzawahi, he's approaching the Big South all time top 10 for quarterback sacks. And Charleston Southern will be the first Big South member to play two Thursday night games in the same season as the Buccaneers host Campbell in a couple nights on Thursday night at 7 p.m. on the Big South Network. So those are just some notes to pass along from this past weekend. And now we will move into our coaches. And our first coach, as always, is the head coach of the Gardner Webb Running Bulldogs, Carol McCray. Good morning, Coach. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Uh, fine, thanks. Hope you're doing well. Yes, Bulldogs, a uh, little, little another tough game. Lost 23-7 to at Wake Forest. Yeah. So, but uh, we'll want to get your thoughts a little bit about uh, your freshman of the week honoree. But then... Uh, Getting the open at home this Saturday against Virginia Lynchburg. If you can open up, talk about the... And then we'll go into uh, to questions. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> certainly we're glad to be uh, coming home to play our first home game. And uh, two tough road games, two tough losses. Uh, certainly had opportunities to fare better uh, than we did in Winston-Salem. We... Uh, as we continue to grow our team, you know, we, we were a football team that got out of position, and even though we had some turnovers defensively and had some young kids who played a little bit better, we got out of position and uh, didn't do very well against their freshman quarterback, and uh, they had certainly improved their team from uh, their Louisiana Monroe loss, and, um, you know, we continued to struggle offensively. Had trouble with their defensive front, couldn't get a run game going, and, uh, as you mentioned earlier, the highlight uh, offensively for us was our freshman quarterback, Tyrell Maxwell, and uh, you know we're trying to bring him along uh, so he can be uh, the player that we need him to be in the future. And uh, he got a few more snaps this past week than he did in the Furman game and then was able to finish up the ball game, leading us on uh, a couple of drives, one that went down and uh, had a chance for a field goal that uh, we missed as it hit the left upright, and then he took us in to score. Uh, on a pretty good drive there toward the end. So I uh, got some valuable experience, took advantage of what he had, and uh, I think he improved. So <clears throat> we'll continue to groom him and, and work him in there with Lucas Beatty as we move forward this season. Thank you, Coach. Uh, at this time, we'll start taking questions for Garner Webb Coach Carol McCray. Please press star 1 on your phone at any time or click the Q&A link near the top of your browser. Click raise hand if you join us via the web. And while questions come in, Coach, uh, talk about this week's opponent, Virginia Lynchburg. Okay. Um, well, you know, like I said, we're glad to be coming home. I have some familiarity uh, with this team. We played them a couple years ago when we were at North Greenville. Uh, but uh, they, they're they coming off two uh, tough road losses, uh, played two teams uh, out of the SWAC, and, uh, you know, now they head down our ways. Uh, 
interesting football team. They have some, a few upperclassmen, a lot of freshmen. Uh, Coach Lee is doing a, a good job kind of revitalizing and redirecting their program. And uh, it, they made great strides and, and improved their football team from week one to week two. And I'm sure they'll be uh, improved as they come down here this week. So, you know, we've got to get our football team better. We've got plenty we got to work on in a lot of areas. And that's what we're aiming on doing this week. And we hope to fare better as we come home and play uh, Lynchburg here at our place at 6 o'clock on Saturday night. All right, thanks, Coach. Uh, first question that I've got for you is if you can talk a little bit more about Tyrell Maxwell. Um, you know, he had that nice uh, drive yeah. towards the end of the game, getting you uh, some points. But just uh, I know he played a little bit in the opener. But just uh, you know, kind of what, you're, what you've seen so far and what some of the additional plans might be. Well, we're, we're pleased with his progress so far. He, uh, you know, he certainly can run. He gives us a dual threat guy that uh, can, can put a little bit more pressure on the defense uh, with his feet. He's a guy that, you know, moves pretty good outside the pocket. He uh, has continued to work to be uh, a full uh, quarterback who can throw and run to be successful in our scheme. Had a couple of high balls. He actually had a chance to throw a touchdown. He threw a high ball over there. Uh, late in the ball game, but he threw uh, a couple that hit us right in the hands. We had two drops on him, so uh, we have seen some improvement. He's got to continue to hone his skills, I think, especially in the pass game uh, because he is a threat in the uh, in the run game, but he's very intelligent, uh, has good football IQ, a lot of savvy, and uh, I think we're going to continue to see him improve as he goes. He's a real good practice player, which, uh, you know, you like to see out of all your players, but which is unusual sometimes as a true freshman. But uh, loves to watch video, good practice player, and I think he'll continue to improve. I think he'll improve in practice this week on things he's working on, and then I think that uh, he will prove to be better as we move throughout this season. Very, 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 very happy to have him part of our program, and, uh, you know, we're excited to see how good he really can be. Hey, Coach, uh, moving forward with uh, the, the home opener, um, I know the, the the old notion that you watch seeing improvement from week one to week two. What have you seen uh, from your squad in that improvement area from uh, from the first game to uh, to this past Saturday? Well, we played. Uh, you know, we improved quite a bit in our secondary. I'm real pleased with that. We have one returning starter. We got three uh, first year guys, two red shirts, and and a, a true freshman playing a whole lot. Uh, so our secondary improved uh, quite a bit. Uh, most of their passing yards away for us was uh, on our linebackers and our underneath coverage. So we, we saw some improvement in our secondary, which is very pleasing to us. Uh, we did get to play uh, quite a few guys in the football game. Uh, we've seen some young linebackers come on and play um, and have a factor in the ball game. We had three interceptions in the game, and uh, all three came in our linebacking core on some second effort tip balls that uh, were really fabulous plays for us in the turnover department. So I think we you know, we continue to see some improvement in areas. We had some young receivers that uh, did some good things, uh, continue to grow our offensive linemen. We played with a true freshman right tackle because Matt McCallum was out, and we played several of the sophomores later in the ball game. But, uh, you know, overall we're seeing some improvement as individuals. What we need to do is see improvement in some real segments in each side of the football so that we can be more productive, especially offensively. Uh, didn't do very well kicking the football through the uprights, but we did see improvement in our special teams as far as our coverage teams and our return teams, and I think we got some young kids that are pretty athletic that will continue to help our special teams throughout the season. So uh, seeing some improvement in areas, uh, but we need to see big improvements on uh, both sides of the ball if we're going to have any success at all this year. Thanks, Coach. So we have a question for you from Chris Lang of the Lynchburg News in Advance. Go ahead, Chris. Okay. Hey. Yo, how are you this morning? Hey, Chris. How you doing? Good, thanks. I uh, just want to ask you about Kenny Cook, what his status is, and uh, uh, how worried you are about him going forward. Just uh, I think he's got a hamstring, is that right? Yeah, he does. I mean, still calling it a hamstring, but it, it's been uh, real aggravating. And, of course, <clears throat> he did not dress this past week. Uh, he's questionable for this week. I do not know if he'll get any reps this week at all. He uh, he is mar he is better. Um, you know, I talked to him yesterday. He did a lot of work in the training room. But uh, if we had to play today, he could not play. I know that for a fact. And, uh, you know, by the end of the week, you know, he possibly could take some snaps. We don't know that until we 
the trainers and the strength staff work him out in the next couple of days. But uh, he is improving. But uh, right now, when he you know tries to get on top end and really run, uh, it's not where it needs to be. So um, continue to work with all the people, the experts, uh, you know, orthopedics, and all those people to try to get him better. But he's out right now, and certainly we need Kenny. Um, and as soon as we can get him back, we're gonna put him in the lineup and try to get him game ready. And then with with this week's opponent, how difficult is it just to try to kind of form an opinion on these guys, just because they they play at such a different level and. Uh, Probably hard to find find tape on them and whatnot. Well, it is a little bit hard uh, <clears throat> to do that. Um, you know, you, you you can see them enough. They play two good opponents, you know, in Alcorn and Jackson State. So you you can see enough to see the alignments and and things like that. But uh, kind of as I said last week, you know, as we got ready two weeks ago, we got ready for Furman and Wake Forest. We're 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 we're, we're working on the Garden Web Bulldogs. We got plenty to work on ourselves and trying to improve our team, trying to improve individuals, get segments to move forward and get people in the right place. And we've had to move some more people around to make sure we get a two deep and some things like that. So we're working hard to improve our football team, and I hope they'll line up and uh, and be a lot better this week uh, in in some areas than we were the past couple of weeks. You know, we're doing we're doing some good things, but we're not putting it together in drives. We're not putting it together in in segments so that we show the production we need to have as we move forward and uh, and try to get a win on the left-hand side of the column. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> and Coach, that's all the questions we have for you. Okay. So we'll go ahead and let you go. Well, thanks for joining all right, us. Mark. Good luck thank Saturday you. in the opener. Yeah, thank you. We look forward to playing at home. And, uh, you know, best of luck to all the Big South teams this week. Y'all have a good week. All right. Thanks, Coach. You too. Bye-bye.